risk taking, hard work, sacrifice. Like the bees in this hive, business owners Steve Forrest and Bob Hagee know a thing or two about manufacturing. Bees are a miracle. Former teacher Steve and wife Sandy built this beekeeping equipment business from the ground up more than 30 years ago. It's very hard, it's, uh, it's a real gamble, and, uh, and you, you go into debt and you uh, are worried about it and worried that you're going to make it, but thankfully it all worked out for us in this business that we really love. Just down the road, Bob retired from Duke Power only to take over Meadows Mills, a 100-year-old grist mill manufacturer. The stones are straight from a Rowan County quarry. We're a niche manufacturer and we're a job shop. And they're staying busy, increasing the types of equipment they make. I think the real secret is having more than one item to offer. You have to have a variety of things. We build sawmills, stone burr mills, hammer mills, Christmas tree palletizers. We're building things for the town of North Wilkesboro. So I think the variety that we built has kept us in business. If we just built sawmills at this time, we would probably be out of business. You've got to be diversified and move around. Whatever you can sell, build it. That line of thinking has more than quadrupled sales, Bob says, since he took over in 1990, with four million in sales in 2009. As we stroll through the plant, he has a story about each piece of equipment. This one is going to New Jersey to a company that is recycling plastic automotive parts. It's obvious there's pride in the family business. They claim 95% of the grits we eat in this country are ground in one of their mills. We have to work hard every day, make sure that we're answering inquiries for customers, building the products the way customers would like for them to be built, and, uh, and just have to hope for hope for success down the road. You may call us a small company, but again, we do distribute around the world, and, and I think that speaks for itself. 25 employees work here. Michael Adams is thankful for the job. I think that uh, a lot of industries like this are no longer in business, and it's uh, rare to have an opportunity like this. Mom and pop businesses are an important part of the local economy, according to the county's economic developer. Well, it's very critical. Um, you know, the, the, the days when you're recruiting the major thousand plus job uh, companies, you know, there's only a few of those every year, if that, anymore. So I think, you know, you focus on sort of your grassroots effort, you know, who's in your own backyard and what opportunities do they have? We're here in Wilkes County in Western North Carolina, and our county has been so decimated by by the loss of industry here. Wilkes has one of the highest unemployment rates in the state, but business at Brushy Mountain Bee Farm is booming. Last year we did 6.8 million uh, in sales and we're up again this year. Um, so so we're, we're, we're doing well. In fact, the company is so busy, a UPS truck stays on site at all times, <laughs> shipping bee boxes and protective equipment made here. People know us, they know us personally, not just the business, but they know each of us. And that helps too. You like to buy stuff from people you know. The down economy, they say, actually helps their bottom line as bee enthusiasts get back to the basics of food production. And it's allowed Meadows Mills to buy less expensive equipment from businesses who have gone bust. Besides their location in this rural area, both Brushy Mountain and Meadows Mills have something else in common. They've adopted what's called lean manufacturing practices. Well, I may not be the smartest fella in the world, but I know a good idea when I see it. The Industrial Cooperative Extension Service has helped both businesses improve the way they organize materials, simplifying the process by having everything they need at their fingertips boosting productivity. And everything that they did, we would we would go, wow, why didn't we think of that? Steve became such a believer, he's now vice chair of the Industrial Extension Service Board. That's where I think we need to make our inroads is working and perfecting our smaller businesses and, and helping those businesses succeed as opposed to trying to woo big industry to come in that could leave you in just a couple of years. Both companies learn to better track sales and they're making more of what's called value-added products, manufacturing parts and accessories related to their big sellers. 
Customer service is top priority. If they don't order parts, then call and say, hey, what's going on? Expertise about their products doesn't hurt either. Their commitment, they say, is helping both companies enjoy the sweet taste of success. Was there ever a time where you thought, we might not make it? Uh, yeah, but it didn't last long. Five minutes and we were on a different track. Uh, you got to be uh, forward thinking, progressive, and even if I did think that, I'd never let anybody know it.